Now, you guys know I typically don't go after or attack veterans at all. But do you guys ever wonder what happens to a strong, patriotic American veteran that comes home and gets infected with the liberal pathogen? Well, <laughs> look over my shoulder right there. You'll see the soy field face right there. I'm JB Gunner. This is JB Gunner TV. But also, this is going to be the Legend of Teardrop because today we're going to talk about this asshole right over my shoulder by the name of Ren Ramsey. What did Ren Ramsey do? Well, he tried to flag down one of my channels. And uh, it was fraudulently done. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to show it to you today. And I'm going to show you one of his newest scams. So, anyway, Ren, you wanted some motherfucking notoriety? Well, bitch, you got it. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm JB Gunner. It's JB Gunner TV. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? As you guys know, I am JB Gunner, and this is JB Gunner TV. Now, first and foremost, let me say this. Thank you to everyone that supports this channel, whether it be on PayPal or Patreon. Look, man, whichever method you choose to represent the gun squad and support this channel, I just want to say thank you to you all, because I could not and would not be able to do this each and every day as often as I do without you. Over all of my variety of channels, I thank you to all of you. Um, with that being said, if you too want to join the gun squad, if my message resonates with you, by all means, feel free to hit those links down below. We all know YouTube demonetized the majority of my work because these are all liberal sacks of shit and pretty much this is a fan funded uh, excursion we'll just say that all right but with all that being said I just want to say thank you guys for all of your support but also if you're new here subscribe man bang the little fucking bell that pops up right at, right up there next to the red subscribe button because when you do that you get notifications each and every time I drop a, a video or go live I wish I do multiple times daily multiple times daily on multiple different channels uh, each and every day, with the exception of Wednesdays and Thursdays, where I take the day off to get my dick sucked. It just is what it is. Stop being so vulgar, JB. Shut up, bitch. This is my shit. I can be as vulgar as I want to be. And that's also something I'm going to say to this fuck right over my left shoulder. Ren Ramsey. Now, I know a lot of you, you have no clue who I'm talking about. You have no clue who this man is. Particularly if you're on JB Gunner TV. Fuck, the people in the damn hiking community don't even know who Ren Ramsey is. Let's just call it like it is. I'm the, I'm the most famous motherfucker on the damn Appalachian Trail that's never through hiked a motherfucker. I'm just saying what it is. Nobody knows who Rims Ram, Ren Ramsey is, but now what he's trying to do is he's trying to ride this murder that happened on the Appalachian Trail all the way to some sort of YouTube notoriety. Well, you cocksucker, the truth of this is, on YouTube, you have to be somewhat entertaining. You have to be somewhat, well, desirable to watch. You can call me an asshole, you can say whatever the fuck you want to say about me, but there's not a boring moment ever when you're watching JB Gunner, whether it be on, it doesn't matter what channel, you can be watching me on a gaming channel and you're not bored. I'm just calling it what it is. Now, before we get into the story, am I uh, showing you what the fuck just happened, let me go ahead and say thank you to the sponsors here today. Uh, this is the, the people that, this is the company that sponsors me, not only on this channel, but on every channel, uh, pretty much every video I do. I want to give a special shout out to www.texascaregiver.com. Who is texascaregiver.com, you may ask? Well, it's Texas Caregiver Support Services. If you guys got any old people in your life, like old Ren Ramsey over there, drooling and pissing all over themselves, and you know, maybe, maybe you need to take care of them and clean them up a little bit, this is the website you go to. You go to this website, fuck, even if you're mad at me, go to the website. And you can get the products by going to the affiliates tab at the very bottom of it. And when you do that, you'll get all the products at a very reasonable price uh, to be able to help keep them fuckers clean. I'm just calling it like it is. Listen, old people sometimes need taken care of. The Ramseys of the world got to be, got to have the dribble wiped by somebody. I'm just saying. And also, if you're a freak and a, and a kink like me, when you get into water sports or cold showers, you, you can get the damn products there that'll help you clean that shit up too. I'm just calling it like it is. All right. I love this. I love I love TexasCaregivers.com. I just got to say that. But let me also give a shout out to, since this is my first video of the day, let me give a shout out to the people that supported the channel since yesterday. Carleen, Jules, Julia, Gloria, Black Dragon Kabuto, my motherfucking dude, John Semini, uh, Michael W., Michael J., Michael H., Barbara, Ryan, Gemma Grace, Lombard, Judo 101, and Voorhees. Thank all of you guys uh, for being part of the Gun Squad and making this a reality. All right. Now, speaking of somebody that's not really supported, but is trying to scam the shit out of motherfuckers, that's Ram Ramsey right there. Anyways, now let me start off by telling you what happened today, right? I woke up to, on my, well, my YouTube channel. Oh, no, shit. Shit. I woke up to a notification on my hiking channel. Now, we're going to talk about this right here very shortly. Because this is his new thing. This is his new scam. This is his new thing. Now, since you want to fuck with my money, Ram Ramsey... Today, we're, we're going to do it this way. Uh, I'm going to show you what happens when you actually fuck with an actual YouTuber. 
that's been around that knows the tricks of the trade, Ren Ramsey. Uh, we're going to do that here today. Now, let's see what it is that happened to my YouTube channel. Now, this is right here. This is what, what this is my, uh, let's go ahead and pull this up. This is my hiking channel. Now, many of you know, I got this, this video on other channels as well. So, it doesn't matter. He can flag, flag, flag all he fucking wants. Uh, the truth of this is, his claim is fraudulent. Now, if you look right here, you'll be able to see clearly that this jackass um, claimed a copyright strike. You'll see it right here. This video is no longer available due to a copyright claim by Ramdino roaming the trails. Um, of course, I countered it, and we'll talk about that in just a second. Now, you may ask yourself, what? Did you steal his content, JB? The answer is no. And there's not a single clip in that whole fucking video that's his content. But you know what he filed a copyright claim on? You know at the end of a YouTube video, when it says up, coming up next, and it, and, it, and it has a little thing that kind of goes in a circle, kind of you know preparing you the countdown for what's next that YouTube recommends you? Well, well, this jackass's video was the recommended video. So that little couple of seconds before I, I turned that off and got switched back scenes to the big thing. Now keep in mind, that's not his creation. He didn't create that scene by YouTube. That is what he filed copyright on. Now many of you guys know I've been a YouTuber for 10 years. Listen, I've, I've, I'm undefeated in terms of copyrights. I've never lost a copyright claim suit. Never lost a copyright claim. And I've went to war with motherfuckers like NBC. So you think I'm worried about Ren Ramsey? No. So Ren Ramsey, what I did is I went ahead and uh, I filed a counterclaim and you have exactly 10 days, 10 days to file your legal suit before this video is reinstated. But I promise you, I promise you, I promise you, we can go to court on this one. Because 100% you have fought a false claim. Now I ask all of you guys uh, to actually go back to the video and watch where this cocksucker's little name, his, his little channel, pops up. It's, it's Ramdino roaming the trails. This motherfucker popped up in the suggested videos, and he filed a copyright complaint. Now, we're going to go to the email, because not only did I copyright claim him, I mean copyright uh, counter him, which now he has to respond to legally, with documentations of a lawsuit but I also emailed him and, well, let's, let's see what I said. Let's go ahead and see what the hell I said. So, yeah, and I'm not worried about you guys seeing all this. Let me double check. Yeah, I'm not worried about you seeing any of that. It just is what it is. So, I will pull this back over here a little bit. And no, we'll actually go ahead and pull this down because I've actually got it pulled up right here. Okay. So, let's actually go to what he said. Now, he sent me, I sent him the email 10 hours ago. It says, hello, this is John Collins, a.k.a. Teardrop, AKA, which is my hiking name, my, my trail name, a.k.a. JB Gunner on YouTube. It has come to my attention that you have recently filed a fraudulent copyright claim against one of my videos. I took a look at, wh at who you were, and like many others, I have no fucking clue who you are. None. With that being said, there isn't a single piece of your video in my video coverage of the hippie killings on the Appalachian Trail. Now, I'm not sure if you know who I am, but let me go ahead and introduce myself. I'm a 10-year YouTube veteran, a man that makes six figures off of YouTube on 24 different channels. Don't let the measly 800 subs on my hiking channel fool you. My previous hiking channel had thousands and thousands of subs. Now, I do want to say this to everybody. Feel free. Go subscribe to my hiking channel. There's some good shit on that motherfucker. Let's go ahead and raise that thing from 800 to 1,000 here today. Let's do it right here today. So I can go ahead and monetize that fucking channel over there and take it to these liberal sacks of shit that's out there roaming the trail. Go, please, subscribe to The Legend of Teardrop. It is in the bottom. It is in the description box. Now, don't let the measly 800 subs on my hiking channel fool you. My previous hiking channel had thousands and thousands of subs. I have three silver play button plaques in my home and have been a successful YouTuber for a long time. That's an absolute fact. Absolute fact. But let's go ahead and continue on. Since YouTube is my business, it's actually a registered LLC, your fraudulent claim on my video is an attack on my business as a seat. Don't get me wrong, I understand mistakes can happen, so I'll be, gladly be gentleman enough to assume that a mistake was made and give you the chance to withdraw your claim. 
I understand that as a new YouTuber and relatively small one, you may attempt to cut corners. And he does. He was at like 2,000 subs, something like that. You may attempt to cut corners to get noticed or grow your channel. I get that. And I do. I understand. But there is no reason to attempt to hurt others in the process just because you disagreed with my video. That's very much so what the point is here. You're, let's just call it what it is. The liberal pathogen. The liberal pathogen has infected this, this, this former veteran. To the point where now he's the fucking social justice warrior and he wants to put, because he's got his little ass hurt, his little butt hurt from my video because ooh, he's talking about my fellow hikers, the hippies. Just go fuck yourself, sir. Because he got his little butt hurt, his little ass hurt. Now he's like, you know, there's nothing I can really do about it but file a false copyright claim. It doesn't mean make it real just because your ass is hurt. Just because your butt is hurt. It doesn't make it real. I've said this over and over again. Fuck the hiking community. I'm saying it now. I don't give a shit. And I'm going to come right back on the Appalachian Trail next year and say, fuck the hiking community. And yes, I'll say it to all of your fucking faces. Now, if you're part of the 5% that, that are conservatives that are out there, I'll shake your hand and, and say thank you for being out here. It's good to see fellow conservatives out here. But to the liberal sacks of shit, they can go fuck themselves. To the hippies, to the, to the damn dope smokers, to all of them, go fuck yourself. In fact, if you're even a millennial, don't come up to me. I ain't got shit to say to you. I, I don't make friends with the hikers. I make friends with the business owners on the AT. You understand what I'm saying? Those are my people. The people that, well, own businesses along the trail. Not these, not these fucking hippies. I can tell you that. Now, don't get me wrong. I have plenty of subscribers here that are probably, especially on the hiking channel, that are probably liberal sacks of shit. And they just let that my, my attacks on them go because they like what I, the way I do things. To those people, I don't consider them quite as much a liberal sex of shit because they don't seem so butter about the shit that I say. So if you are a liberal scumbag and you happen to be on my channel and you happen to like my work, then we're, we get along fine because you're not obviously that infected by the pathogen. Because you're not crying about how bad your butt, your asshole hurts. Just saying, it, just calling it like it is. So let's get back to the, the email. Um, anyway. But there's a read. Okay, that is a beta social justice warrior cuckish fucking move that does come with legal repercussions, and that's a fact. That's a fact. Um, I have filed a counterclaim and begun a legal process that will wind up in court. But I want to give you the chance to remove the strike first. And I had already filed it, but I can once you remove the strike, then we ain't got shit to worry about. As much as I'd like to believe it was a mistake, YouTube told me that it was a manual claim. So, it wasn't a mistake. You watched my video and actually filed the claim on purpose, knowing that I've never even seen your videos, let alone stolen one of them. And if you don't understand, if you don't believe me, let's go back here. Now, I want to show you guys something. Let's go back to this version. Let's, let's, let's uh, bring this back up. Manually detected. He did it himself. You understand what the fuck I'm saying? He did it himself. A little slimy sack of shit. Anyway, let's get back to it. You don't own the hippie story, sir. And this is a fact. That's not yours. That story belongs to the community. I will be making a video about this situation and your little channel a little bit later. This is the wrong way to go about trying to make a name for yourself and the wrong way to represent the IQ community here on YouTube. This was a flat-out lie, and you already know it. Now, listen, let me tell you something, jackass. I already have to deal with many lies from the hiking community. Many of them, all because they're liberal motherfucking sacks of shit that in person can't do shit, they can't say shit, they won't say shit, they won't do shit. So they have to go online and be keyboard warriors and create whatever fucking stories they want to create. But as I've proven time and time again, year after year after year after year on the Appalachian Trail, none of these motherfuckers are ever in my face talking any of this shit. Ever. Ever. Anyway, like I said, you don't own the hippie story, sir. That's not yours. The story belongs to the community. We already went about that. Uh, this is the wrong way. Okay, we already did that. We, that was a flat-out lie, and, we are, and you already know it. Truth is, your liberal ass got butt hurt and triggered by the things I said in my video. So you decided to make a false claim. Let's be honest here. I guess that you're bad, though, because you should have just done a little bit more research on me before you made that claim. This hiking channel was my smallest channel, just so you know. It's basically a throwaway channel anyways. And it is. It's just for me to motherfucking... It's a good place to put my boring-ass hiking videos, right? I mean, let's just... They're not boring, but they're not, they're not my other videos, right? 
I mean, shit, who really wants to see a dude through hike? Well, only hikers, right? You don't, the average person doesn't want to see a motherfucker uh, hiking 20 miles, hiking 15 miles. They don't want to see that shit. It's fucking boring to watch half these cocksuckers do it. That's why there's only very few of them, loner, people like that, that I've ever actually watched and enjoyed. Loner wasn't boring. Anyway, here comes old Ren Ramsey. We're going to go over his email. Um, Ren Ramsey. And by the way, this is not a privacy thing because, Ren, you have made your name public. This is not a privacy complaint. You've made your name public. Now, Mr. Collins, it seems like you are very successful on YouTube and in life, and I congratulate you for your hard work and success. Thank you. I agree completely that the story is not solely mine, nor would I claim it to be. Given the magnitude of what, now don't get me wrong, sir, you understand your entire channel right now at this moment is basically you're trying to do what who was the veteran that did it the other the, the last couple of years? A very a real good dude. I'm trying to think of his name. Um, shit, I can't think of his name. Real good dude, but he was doing the same thing you were doing, following YouTube, following the hikers, and essentially re reporting on a little bit of the news. Damn, I can't remember his name. But he was a hell of a dude, an actual conservative veteran. Great dude. Can't remember, God damn, I can't remember his name. But anyway. He says, uh, given the magnitude of what occurred, I wish there was no story. Eh, sometimes we got to enjoy a little, little story. In it. There's not, listen, uh, a hippie getting hacked up every now and then isn't really that big of a deal. Like, listen, I, I report news all day, every day. This may be shocking to you, but this isn't that shocking to me. It's, yeah, listen, man, I've seen a lot worse shit than this. But it is what it is. The way the Appalachian Trail is, the way that community is. They focus on what they don't understand instead of the real dangers right in front of them. Like I said, they will focus all their attention on me because I'm, well, loud and outspoken. But they'll let the fucking liberal hippie right there beside them swinging the fucking machete just go on by. Not a problem. I had to say it, but this shit was coming to the, the hiking community and it just is what it is. And I stand behind that statement. Uh, anyways, he goes on to say, regardless of whether I agree with you or not, this is America and I served in the military, so all Americans could have the freedoms we enjoy, including hurtful rhetoric. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. I have, you fought for my freedom to hurt the shit out of your ass. To butt hurt, the liberal butt hurt the fuck out of you. That's exactly right. Now let's go on to continue. Because you make that statement, but then you later on, do the dumbest shit ever. Now go ahead. I agree with you that you have the freedom of speech to produce anything that you desire. That's right. Not sure what beta social justice warrior SJW. Come on, man. You know what the fuck that means. Maybe you're just that old. You're telling me right now you don't know what SJW means? That's probably because you may be one of them. If you don't know what it means, you may be one of them. If you don't know what cuckish means, you may be one of them. If you don't know what beta means, you may be one of them. Instead of doing what you're doing on YouTube... False flag and other hiking YouTubers. Why don't you take your punk ass out there and actually do something? Why don't you actually hike? Oh, that's right. You're an over 50 section hiker. Okay. Well, then go fucking hike and record the videos. Quit trying to eat. Quit trying to make a living off of this fucking murder. But let's go ahead and continue on. Oh, that's right. He's a pastor, I think. Or, uh, we'll go ahead and get to that. I agree with you that... Okay, we already did it. Um... But I ask that your video be removed because you showed my thumbnail. I didn't show shit. Google showed it. And let me tell you something, you jackass. Anyone that watches a story on that Appalachian Trail killing, your shit's going to get recommended to them because there's not that many people talking about it because it's not really a big deal to the rest of society. It's not really that big of a deal to the rest of society. Yes. Yes. A bunch of liberal stoners went out into the fucking woods and they got fucking jealous or mad or whatever and one of them was off the rock or the liberal pathogen was really going through their head. They chopped the motherfucker up with a machete. That's not really that big of a deal. Most of society expect that kind of fuckery coming from the left. Just saying. Now let's go ahead. Growing my, uh, in my thumbnail with my name in your video. Sir, I can use your name in my video. This is all fair use, motherfucker. Why don't you actually look up what fair use entails. That's okay, because you don't have to, because I'm going to counter sue you, and you'll know then, bitch. Not a problem. Growing my channel is not really important to me, as it does not represent an income stream for me. 
You're wasting your time. You're just on here as a hobbyist. Just a jackass. Just doing, just like all these other jackasses that's just doing this shit for free. It's a weird thing that you guys spend this much time in your life trying to entertain people for nothing. Let me tell you the only type of people that make nothing from entertaining people. People that don't know how to entertain people. But let's go ahead. Anyway, let's go ahead. As you noted, it is small and does not make really any appreciable, appreciable amount of money. No, it doesn't. Uh, what little it does, I give away to either the hiker community or the, the ministries. <sighs> my channel is about building the hiker community and supporting the through hikers on the quest. Okay, so what if mine is the opposite? Let me ask you something, dickhead. What if mine is the opposite? You're telling me I don't have the right to do that? What if my channel is based on trashing the hiker community? What if my, my channel is based on not being positive towards the hiker community. Just like you have the right to suck their balls. I have the right to say fuck you. You understand what I'm saying, right? There's two sides of the coin. I'm just letting you know. You can support the through hikers. And the truth of this is I support, like I said, conservative through hikers. I do as well. I do as well. But however... Just as much as you have the right to build the hiker community, since I'm part of the hiker community and have been for a long time, I have the right to critique it. And since you're such a veteran, you should know that I have the right to do that. If your First Amendment matters, bitch, my First Amendment matters. And if you don't believe that, then you wasted your fucking time fighting for it. Then a liberal pathogen that's involved in you, that's, that's running through your fat fucking head, it is, it is, it is made you heavily ill. But anyways, let's go ahead and get, to, get, to get back to this. Um, as one who has attempted a through hike and will be doing so again, I've still attempted several. I've been out there thousands of miles. And doing so again, I hope that is something that you would agree is a good thing. So, no, actually, I think, uh, no, actually, I, I wish people that's not in the hiking community, not hiking, would stay the fuck out of the hiking community. The problem in the hiking community is you internet sacks of shit. That's not actually in the hiking community. Yeah, these fucking broke-ass, poor-ass college kids may need you to build them and support them on the trail, but of all liberal sacks of shit do. The socialism mentality that goes on on this trail, I think, is the worst part of the trail. But you people think it's great. Oh, look at this. We're a community. We take and take care of each other and share everything. No, it builds more entitlement mindsets so no i don't agree with you whether i because whether i'm doing a through hike or we'll do a through hike again i think a through hike is a very personalized journey between that man or woman and and or woman and the woods and that journey only fucking hippies think it's a place where everybody needs to go and build a community and support each other that's socialism dick face i don't know i wish there was zero trail angels I wish there was zero non-hikers online talking about the damn community. In fact, I wish there was zero parking lots so you sacks of shit couldn't, couldn't interfere with us in the damn woods. That's an absolute fact. Now, it doesn't mean I don't appreciate the people that have done trail magic for me in the past. Of course I do. That's why I've also given back. But my opinion clearly is that the biggest problem in the hiking community is you non-hikers in the community putting your opinion in. Doing dumb shit like this. Trying to flag down people's channels. It's a ridiculous thing. You think that because you go out there and you hike a section here or there. Oh, look at me. I hike 30 miles. That means something. That you're part of the community. Let me tell you something. If these motherfuckers would start having jobs and stop bringing EBT cards out there on the fucking Appalachian Trail, then they wouldn't have to worry about the shit. They wouldn't have to worry about it. If these people weren't constantly rummaging through the damn gear boxes, through the leftover gear boxes and food, and, and depending on you fucking trail angels, they wouldn't have to worry about it. You want to hike the Appalachian Trail? Very simple, jackass. Go get a job, save up five grand, and go fucking do it. It's not that damn hard. I can save up five grand this fucking week. I'm just saying. 
Anyways, if I could have asked for that section of the video to, that had my name to be removed, I certainly would have. Well, you could have, you dumb fuck. My email is literally, literally, in every single video I do. It is literally in the description box. Plus, when you go to YouTube at the contact about section, you can find my email. For God's sakes, the video had my fucking email and Twitter in the video. In the video. In fact, if you look right here, what does that say, you motherfucker? What does that say? You got to be the dumbest motherfucker I've ever seen. Unfortunately, YouTube does not work that way. Yes, the fuck it does. You could have emailed me. You could have gotten a hold of me and said, hey, listen, you're pretty vulgar in what you do. Is there any possibility you could remove that little area? But that's not really what you wanted, right? You just were butthurt because of what I said, and you wanted any way possible to take me down. And trust me, he's going to flag this shit for the same reason. This time it'll either be hateful or bullying or, or some dumb shit, right? Instead of just two men having a discussion and us talking about this, he's going to flag this for the same exact reason. He's going to act like I can't show his name on damn YouTube. So we'll go to court over that. It's not a problem. Not only am I able to go to court with you, sir, I got financial backers that will gladly, gladly fund this sort of thing and break you in the meantime. This is not a problem. You're not fucking with broke teardrop that was on the trail back in 2012. At all. If I truly wanted to, I could send 10 through hikers down the Appalachian Trail. Including myself. Plus myself. But anyway, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and talk about this, right? Uh, unfortunately, YouTube does not work that way, liar. My channel is about building the hiker community and doing so in a way that is respectful and tastefully done without propagating violence or vile speech. I didn't propagate violence at all, jackass. I'm not the motherfucker to hack someone up, you sack of shit. At all. But just like I said before, yes, you can build the community and just like you have the right to do that, I have the right to do the exact opposite. You may not like it, you may not like it, but you have to deal with it, bitch. You have to deal with it. And if you have a problem with that, come see me for real. Come see me when I'm out there. Or send people to come see me. I don't give a fuck. But since you want to do this from a distance, and you want to try to attack me financially, we'll handle it legally. No problem, sir. No problem at all. We can either handle this. You know, you know the name. You know the fucking line. We handle this like some gentlemen, or we can, you know. So we can go through, we can go through the legal process. Not a problem. Anyways, vile speech. By the way, it's listen. Not everybody is from your church, dickface. Not everyone considers my speech vile. In fact, thousands of people love my shit each and every day. Those tra and I'm, we're talking about Christians. We're also talking about conservatives. We are also talking about fucking teachers, doctors. I say this shit that other people wish they could say without losing their careers. Those traits are inherent in your video, yep. And while you are free to use that type of rhetoric, I do not wish for myself to be associated with that type of hate speech. And Oh, hate speech. That shows you right there this motherfucker's a liberal sack of shit. Hate speech? What was a hate speech? And your, your name is not associated with it. You're nitpicking, you jackass, because your liberal feelings got hurt hate speech. Isn't that not the, the first thing that liberal sex and shit go to every single time? This is hate speech. No, it's just an opinion that differs from you. That's all it is. That's all it is. Let's go ahead and continue. You also seem to blame other people than the murderer for this happening. I do. I do. I'm sorry. But that motherfucker was, what we're talking about 150 miles, that motherfucker was on that trail with report after report after report. When is what? Let me ask you something, veteran. When are you at, since you're such a fucking, you know, veteran, <laughs> where was you? How come you wasn't out there? You knew the motherfucker was out there. I do blame other people because many of you, including the guy that got killed, knew of this guy, knew he was out there. 
And you just let him roam. And let me tell you something, bitch. When, let, me tell you, let me tell you a story. There was a dude that was harassing Bob Sir Pax a lot. The top of Georgia owner. I chased his monkey ass all the way up the trail. Was I going to hurt him? You goddamn right I was. What was his name? Gronk. Gronk. I chased his motherfucking ass clean off the Appalachian Trail. Because he was hurting people. He was threatening to hurt people. I chased that motherfucker all the way. And then he went all the way to the PCT or CDT. I can't remember which one. And then you know what he did out there? You know what he did out there? He ended up getting arrested for sexually assaulting someone on one of those trails. So make no mistake about it. Someone like me that you consider violent and, 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 and vile with vile rhetoric. I've actually chased away the bad guy. What have you done, bitch? Nothing. But sit there and make your fucking sorry ass, poor, poorly produced YouTube videos. And then go on into your next scam. Let's go ahead and talk about this a little bit further. You also seem to blame other... Okay, we already did that. And yes, like I said, it's your fault. You motherfuckers should have stopped him. But no, you push people like, like me off the trail because you think I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm too violent. I haven't hurt anyone on the trail. And I only go after bad guys, like I would have this cuck. I would have went right after him. Ask Bob Gabrielson, ask Sir Paxalot if I would have went right after him. You can ask any of these motherfuckers. I personally know some people involved. Okay, we already did that. Uh, your your rhetoric is hurtful to them. I don't, then they can they can email me and explain that to me. If then my rhetoric is hurt, it's bad. True words, bitch. True hurts. I'm sorry. And he, I learned later that it was a veteran that got the vet, the dude was the veteran with PTSD that got killed. Well, just saying. When you let when you let fucking liberal scumbags, hippies, run around with machetes and you don't think to stop them and, and let me ask all my veterans out there. You see a liberal scumbag running around the woods already already known for harassing people with a machete, what would you do? I'm going to ask my real veterans right now, what would you do? You know he's already known for doing dumb shit and making threats. And now this sack of shit's running around in the, in the woods getting high with a fucking machete? What would you do? I know what Rim Ramsey wouldn't do. But I do not wish for a name and my channel to be associated with that type of rhetoric. Um, oh, he says, again, you have freedom to abuse people in America to further your business if that is your intent. Let me explain something to you. Having an opinion different from you is not abusing them. Abusing someone is when you purposely attack someone's income stream, their revenue stream, just because you disagree. Filing fraudulent claims just because you disagree. That, sir, is far worse. That's far more abuse than anything I could say. But I do not wish for my name and channel to be associated with that. Oh, it's going to be now because I'm going to fucking eat through the shit out of you. Until you remove the motherfucker. You want it this way? And I'm going to record and pump the whole court proceedings. That's what this whole hiking channel is about to be about now. It's our court proceedings until I go on my next hike. Not a problem. Again, you have the freedom. And like I said, I'll leave you alone. I, I don't really want to come at you. I'll leave you the fuck alone. But I do not wish for my name and channel. Okay, I am not a subscriber to your channel, obviously. Uh, because, yeah, obviously. But it was brought to my attention by someone who is and they Listen, you let my YouTube trolls convince you into putting yourself in legal jeopardy, jackass. I am sure given your profession, if my thumbnail and name could be removed, it can, it can be, but I'm not going to do it. Uh, that could be acceptable to me, and I would draw my complaint. No, because I did not put it in there. YouTube did, and you fucking know it. You know this is a petty claim, and I'm not, I'm no, not at all. No, not even close. I'm not removing it. You remove the claim, and I'll consider it. But I'm, but I'm not, and I would do that just out of generosity. But no, you ain't gonna make a petty little complaint like that. You're not the one in charge here, dick face. I'm the one that's actually right in this legal matter. So go fuck yourself.
I am sure, given your professional knowledge of the production of YouTube videos, yeah, something you're not, apparently, um, this would be something that could be easily done. Please let me know if this is acceptable to you. I accept your kind consideration. <laughs> Very true. Uh, all right. Now I'm going to show you my email. I'll sit back. We're just going to read through this. It says, actually, that is the way YouTube works, Dick. And I already explained this, right, in the last one. You just have to be both man enough and smart enough to seek the contact information of a channel and contact them man to man. But instead, you decided to file a fraudulent claim without caring whether it is fair use or not. You did so entirely over your, your disagreement with the premise of my video. I thank you for your service, but it seems to me that you have allowed the liberal sacks of shit within the community to send you to do their work for them. You know as well as I do that this is a pathetic attempt by trolls on my channel to take my shit down and, you, and use you as their vehicle to do so. You feel it. You fell for it. Oh, shit, I wrote that wrong. You <laughs> fell for it. Look, hook, line, and sinker. I rewatched the video to see what you were even talking about. You were talking about the part of the part that YouTube suggested your work. You can't copyright that, sir, which is a fact. And I will prove it in court. I would have removed it if it was actually something that was taken from your work. You can't know. You, you can't copyright this. Okay, you, you know that you are just being petty as fuck with me. I counterclaim now, and you will have 10 days to sue me in your county and show proof of that to YouTube. We can definitely go to court over this one, as I need a trip to Tennessee or wherever the fuck anyways. That's fine. I need a vacation. Um, not a problem. So let's go ahead and take this to court. You know damn well that YouTube suggesting your video doesn't mean that I stole your copyrighted work. You're just deciding to be a dick. That's okay. I get it. But I assure you that my YouTube dick and knowledge of this type of law as a 10-year YouTuber is much bigger. That's right. A lot bigger dick. Say that now. And many of the bitches along the AT already know that. <laughs> I'm just saying. See you in court. You should have known. You should, you should have just been a man from the jump and asked me to remove it. But it seems to me that, that the hippie liberal hiking community can make a pussy out of just about anyone. Including our once honored patriots and American veterans. That's a shame. Should have actually stood for what you fought for. Liberalism is a mental disorder and you obviously have caught the pathogen. That's right. That is 100% right. Now let's go to something else here, right? I'm going to show you guys something else. Now, as I told you, this guy is going all out to use this to his advantage. As you can see, that's him right there. The creator of this. Oh, he's in Shelby, North Carolina. Cool, cool. As you can see, medical. He's probably a fucking nurse. That, that would be great. Um, so he probably wasn't even a veteran. He was probably a fucking... Oh, Jesus. A nurse. Oh, Jesus. But I'll say this. He's scamming the shit out of the hiking community, which I'm not going to knock. Listen, go ahead, brother. Get your hustle on. You, those, you can get those liberal sack of shit. To, go ahead. I ain't going to knock you. At all. Not on that. Except for I am. As you can see, he has used this. I'm Ren Ramsey. But if you're a hiker, you may know me as Ramdino from, the, from my support for the hiker community through social media. If you're a member of the hiking community, you are more than likely aware of the tragedy of the attack that occurred on the Appalachian Trail. Now, I just want you to understand. This cocksucker goes on and on. And, of course, he wants to profit off this. I don't care what he says What he says is going to the, to the actual... Listen, I mean, dead motherfuckers don't need no damn money. I'm just saying. Dead motherfuckers don't need... I hate when people do this. I talk all the time when these fat-ass hair hat black women, when they have their fucking... When their kids get shot. When they... Uh, you know, because they involved themselves in some gang violence. They put up fucking GoFundMes. I'm going to say the same thing about this sack of shit. This ain't your business, sir. So here's what I want. Since this motherfucker likes to play with people's money, let me make something clear. Whether it's this channel, and I don't care which channel is seeing this, I'm going to put this on several channels. I think maybe GoFundMe needs to understand there's a potential scam. I think they should look into this a little bit more. So don't, don't, don't. I, I'm not against us asking GoFundMe to look into this a little bit more. About where the money's actually going to go. We, I want to make, I care about the hiking community. I want to make sure they're not being scammed by this same guy that put a fraudulent claim on me. Because let's to be honest here. If you're going to be a fraud in one situation, you'll be a fraud in another. 
So I'm going to ask all fucking, well, across my channels, 40,000 motherfuckers, feel free to go give this thing a look and ask GoFundMe to actually look into it. I think that's best for the hiking community, and I think that's best for this gentleman. Someone needs to essentially remind him that fraud is not accepted on YouTube. All funds raised will be split between the two victims and their families. Look at him. With all the, the, look at him. He's really going hard with the scam. This motherfucker's got, he, he went and, you, he went and Google searched the fuck out of some, some, uh, some attractive AT photos. Ain't that a bitch? He's got his little hot spring, I mean his, uh, match patch pick right here. What a dick. Damn light shining in my damn window. You just got to deal with it. Ramsey, go fuck yourself. I'll see you in court. And to everyone else, don't be a Ren Ramsey. Don't be the type of guy that gets so ass butt hurt because someone said something you don't like that you decide to falsely and fraudulently try to take someone that works very hard at their job. Because Ren, let me tell you something. Some people may agree with you. Some people may agree with me. That's the beauty of America. We can have two sides. Some people, like I said. But your problem is, is you took your fucking asshole hurting. And you decided to attack me. My money. My business. And all of that. Good job, Ren. Now we'll see if you can afford the fucking court. We'll see. Because you're going to lose. Because there's no copyright. Nothing you've copyrighted was used in my video. And I'm pretty sure Google accidentally showing you shit as a recommended video will qualify as fair use. Dumbass. All that damn religion, and I guess Jesus ain't taught you <laughs> shit. Ain't taught you shit, because you petty as fuck. But that's okay, because I can be petty too. Let's go ahead and do this. Can't wait to see you. In court, of course. I'm JB Gunner. This is JB Gunner TV. And also, the legend of Teardrop. <sighs> it's good to be back in the hiking community, thanks to this jackass. It's going to be fun. Let's go. Hey, forgot to tell you, Bucks. If you want to support the channel, feel free to hit that link down below. Don't forget to go check out his GoFundMe. Don't forget to check out his GoFundMe in case you guys didn't see it. In case you guys didn't see it, it is called the Appalachian Trail Attack Victim of 2019. <sighs> Donate, bitches. Below. I'm out.